If you can only take one thing away from this video is that sticking to a budget and tracking your finance can completely change your life and there's no time like the present to get started. Of course, if you haven't already. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps I use to create a minimalist, easy to use budget spreadsheet in Notion. I'll show you how you can go from this to this. Budgeting is a key aspect of financial management. Over the years, I've used Excel, Google Sheets, pen and paper, and other budgeting apps on my phone, but none quite stuck with me like Notion did. Notion allows you to set up budgets and track your progress effortlessly. I'll show you how to create a budget template, allocate funds, and monitor your spending so that you can reach your financial goals in 2024. By the way, I'm not sponsored. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. So first things first, what you're gonna do is open your Notion app on your laptop or go to the website. I'll guide you through creating the necessary pages and databases to streamline your financial information. Now, what you're going to see here is a page, an empty page. So just click empty page. And now let's just put budget tracker for now. It's easy. Okay, so what we're going to do is put a database. So this is going to be your financial goals. So I like to put it as a gallery so it's easier to see. So for example, let's do your emergency fund first and perhaps a vacation fund and perhaps an education fund and children's fund. All right. If you want to make the card size smaller, you can always go to this option here. And then card size, medium, you can put it to small, you can put it to large, whichever one you prefer. And let's go up here to make sure that the page is full width, so you can see everything in one line. Let's just do the first month first, so let's go to January. But also you can change the fonts. Okay. Let's create another database. Now I will call this monthly budget. And let's create another one for your daily expenses. You can leave this unnamed, but for me, I will just put it as 2024 January. For this one, I'll put here as budget categories. Monday budget categories. Okay, so this one is actually a default. So you want to just move it here. Change this property to date. So this is going to be the date on which you have made the expense. And this is going to be the description or the item that you bought. This is going to be the amount. So you have to select number here for the third column. So this is going to be the cost. So you can put in whatever currency that you want over here. So let's just go with the US dollar for now. Let's just go here first, the monthly budget categories. Like I said, this is the default column. So what you're going to do is rename this as categories. And then this for this column, you can change it to number. So this is going to be the budget. Remember to change the currency. So let's just go with the US dollar for now. So what are the categories that you have? So I have a few, but let's just put it as... So for example, if you are a Muslim man, of course you're going to have your nafka first, and you're going to have your zakat. Let's just fill in, for example, the mortgage or your rent. Let's go with utilities, which includes electricity and water. For example, home Wi-Fi cell phone, insurance, car, bike perhaps. So Notion has this function that allows you to group certain pages together. So let's go option here and you can see down here sub items. So you can turn on sub items. All of these are considered as fixed expenses. So if it gets too long and you don't like to see it in such a long list, you can always do this. Really easy. Next, let's go for personal expenses. So these I will also say you can consider them as variable expenses as well. You can include things like your pet expenses, toiletries, shopping, groceries, eating out, 
transportation add on or remove whichever that you like for me personally i like to put it like this so i can see clearly each category next let's put your funds so within these funds you can put your financial goals so let's just put your financial goals here emergency fund vacation fund education fund children's fund so let's go through one more time fixed expenses personal expenses which are your variables and your funds okay all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to relate this we're going to make sure that whatever we put into this table is transferred over to here and it also transfers over to here so it's going to be automatic so which means to say that if you include one expense over here it's going to be it's going to come out here as well and it's going to come out here as well so you don't have to record things two or three times select your relation okay so this is going to be the database that you want to link to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to link it to the monthly budget which is the table on top of ours monthly budget so just add relation change this to category because we want to relate this column over here to the various categories that are within the monthly budget database let's say for example today is the 4th of January and I bought some groceries for example I bought chicken and vegetables and the cost was $50 I don't know in Malaysia it's about 50 ringgit but I don't know in the US how much it's going to be so these categories are from the monthly budget table so you can choose what categories it falls into so for example chicken and vegetables is going to be groceries so let's just pick groceries so once you go here to this table back here, you're going to see that in this column over here, this daily expenses is referring to this table over here. So it says here chicken and vegetables, right? So of course, we do not want to have this statement over here. We actually want this cost because we want this cost to be recorded inside our monthly budget spreadsheet. So what we're going to do is click this button over here and it will show up as an option. So click this button over here and choose roll up over here so roll up select the relation so the relation is going to be daily expenses right and the property it's not going to be description it's not going to be category it's going to be the cost right here you go this is what what we included over here so i'm just going to change this to cost or I guess you could change it to amount so that we don't get confused. So if you want to keep this column here, you can do so, but you can always hide it. Go to groceries page here, open it, and then click daily expense, and then click minimal. So it's not going to show up in this page. And if you click here, just click hide in view. So it's not going to show. All right. So those changes will actually apply to each and every page over here. So whatever changes that you've done to the groceries page, it will automatically be transferred to the other pages as well. So you do not have to worry about changing each and every row. Now let's set the budget for each and every item. So the process is going to be redundant. So let me just do an example for the groceries first. And you can always adapt that process to suit your needs. Let's go here, this column for groceries. So the budget, for example, let's say $500. Write down in the comments below and let me know how much is the average grocery cost in the US or wherever you are from. Okay, so now before we create the formula to calculate the remaining amount that you have left, let's go to the amount spent column here first. Click it, edit property, and make sure you come to this option here, which is calculate. So if it says show original or, or show unique values, make sure you change it to sum. Okay. Make sure you change into sum, otherwise the formula won't work. So let's click the formula column now. Edit property, edit formula. So it's just a very simple formula. So just click budget minus amount spent. Okay, so that's what we have. Okay, so change the name to remaining. So as you can see here, you have $450 left. So if you want to make it into a graph, you can as well. Just duplicate this property and edit it you can call it a chart if you want change this number format to percentage 
and edit the formula because it, look, it looks weird. <laughs> so edit the formula. So all you have to do is just put brackets here and divide by your budget. Okay. So now we have 90%. What's my chart? Okay. Click the ring here. Or the bar if you want. Let's just give it make it a bar. There you go. Okay, so you can also change the colors if you want. So let's see. I'll just change it to brown or red. You can do that for each and every one. So for example, let's see we have a budget for pet. Let's put a hundred there. So of course you haven't spent anything for your pet yet. So it's still a hundred percent. But if we were to let's see if we were to buy kibbles, so let's say ten dollars and link your category so it will be pet and it will show up here nice and easy so you don't have to record here and then record here so that cuts out one step already for you all right so next since we're done with that let's create a separate column for your financial goals so this is going to be the same thing as what we did with this budget category so let's go and create a relation and this time it's going to be the financial goals database. So let's just show it on that uh, database as well. So add relation. So it will be connected to your financial goals. Okay. So if you look here, just click on this and let's see daily expenses is over here. So this relation is showing up here as well. Okay. All right. So next, let's say, for example, you want to save for your vacation. Mm, let's see, trip to Greece example. So let's say that you're saving a thousand dollars there. So what you're going to do is you can also click in the categories here because it is also included in your budget category spreadsheet. So just click there and you can click vacation fund. So let me just open here and then it will show up here. So it will show up here as the amount spent. So next go to financial goals and you can click vacation fund here as well. And if you look here, it will say here trip to Greece. Okay. But like I mentioned, if you want this here, then it's fine. But if you don't, let's just add a new property and let's click roll up. And the relation would be your daily expenses. So the property is the same as what we did just now. Let's just put it to cost. And you can click sum if you like. So that, that will be here, $1,000. Go to this option here, click it, go to your properties, and let's see here. Let's just put everything up. If you want this here, you can keep it, but if you don't, you can always click here, show as, and minimal, and it won't be shown. Tags, if you want to keep it, it's fine, but in this spreadsheet, we're not going to be using tags, so we can change this. So let's just edit the property to a number. So this number is going to be your target. So let's say, for example, $10,000. Remember to change the currency, by the way. $10,000. So let's just rename this as your current. And let's just create a formula property so that we can see our progress. So let's click the formula. So let's click current divided by target you can click percentage and click a ring there you go so it's going to be 10 percent all right so let's just change the properties that, that are shown again so you don't want to see this daily expenses just take it out and let's just see progress okay let's just put here target is the first one and then the second one would be your current and this is going to be your progress all right okay so for example let's just make this look like it's not so weird so let's just put here two thousand dollars budget so which means to say each month you're going to transfer two thousand dollars to your vacation fund so so far you've already transferred a thousand dollars you have the remaining one thousand dollars left to transfer so here is the chart showing you that you've only transferred fifty percent 
Right, so you can keep it like it is, but if you want to clean it up further, like for me myself, I like to see icons everywhere, so let's just clean it up. So there you go, it's already cleaned up. As you can see, I've already included a few examples. So later on, if you were to download the template for this budget tracker, you can see how I've done it and you can just replace the numbers with your own numbers. So I'll leave the download link in the description box below so you can just download whenever you want. So again, this is going to be your financial goals for the year and this is going to be your monthly budget and this is going to be your daily expenses. All right, and we're done. How was it? What do you think about the budget tracker? Do you find that it's useful or not? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Write in the comments below and let me know whether I've managed to convince you to use Notion or not. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Bye for now!